Have you ever wondered what it's like to be under fire from an acid attack? Or suddenly see a creature shoot blood straight from its eyes? Nature is a true master of martial arts, where even tiny creatures possess techniques capable of shocking any opponent. Imagine a world where instead of swords, there's one's own blood, and instead of shields, living corals. Insane? Yet this is our planet, just look closer. Wild jungles, deep oceans, and even ordinary forests hide real little warriors with incredible superpowers. Let's start with red forest ants. In their bellies hides a real chemical laboratory, a poison gland producing formic acid. It accumulates in a special reservoir, like ammunition, waiting for the moment to attack. When danger approaches, whether a hungry predator or a curious scientist, the ants open fire. Acid shoots at the target from an opening near the tip of the abdomen. These tiny creatures have truly turned their bodies into walking chemical bombs. Of course, their accuracy isn't sniper level, but who said accuracy matters when you can rely on numbers? In an anthill, the life of an individual means nothing. The entire colony functions as a single organism, ready to withstand any threat, even a bear. The cloud of acidic vapors created by thousands of ants becomes an insurmountable barrier, corroding the mucous membranes of anyone who dares to approach. Imagine yourself as a predator, You've just approached an anthill, and suddenly your eyes and nose start burning like fire. Who would like that? It's easier to find prey that doesn't launch chemical attacks. The horned lizard has an impressive arsenal of defensive mechanisms. Sharp spikes, perfect camouflage coloration, zigzag movements, ability to inflate itself. But the crown jewel is its incredible ability, shooting its own blood from its eyes at a distance of up to 5 meters. Yes, you heard right five meters. It's like spraying water from a spritzer, only with blood and from the eyes. Admit it, sounds like a horror movie plot. The mechanism is surprisingly effective. The lizard blocks blood outflow from the head, causing a sharp increase in pressure that leads to rupture of small vessels around the eyelids. In fact, to activate its superpower, the lizard inflicts a controlled injury on itself. Isn't that like Wolverine from X-Men? Just imagine. You're a coyote who decided to snack on a lizard, and suddenly, your potential prey transforms into a mini-volcano, erupting bloody streams right in your face. This bloody spectacle not only disorients the attacker, but also has an additional advantage. The lizard's blood has an unpleasant taste, and for some predators, especially from the canine family, it can even be poisonous. However, this trick doesn't work on predatory birds. They're immune to this defense method. Evolution apparently decided not to make the horned lizard completely invincible. Small schooling fish, like sardines, create an amazing phenomenon, a bait ball. It's a giant shoal of spherical shape with a diameter of up to 20 meters and a depth of up to 10. Just imagine, you're swimming in the ocean and suddenly see a gigantic rotating ball of fish. And no, the goal isn't to summon Satan, as one might think looking at this fantastic structure. This is the last line of defense in the face of danger. Such bait balls are hypnotic in their own way. Thousands of fish move synchronously, creating the illusion of a single organism. But this masterpiece of defensive architecture doesn't live long, usually disintegrates after 10 minutes. Alas, there are no perfect defense mechanisms and predators have also adapted. The swordfish attacks the shoal at high speed, seeking to stun the prey, a real pirate boarding in the ocean depths. Other predators use their tails or attack vertically, rotating around their axis, a true underwater ballet of death, and whales act simply and effectively. They sharply open their mouths, sucking in a huge amount of fish. Imagine it as a gigantic living vacuum cleaner the size of a bus. The plover, a bird the size of a sparrow, has developed a strategy worthy of an Oscar. These birds distract danger to themselves to save their offspring. When a predator approaches, the adult bird mimics an injury, pretending that its wing is damaged. It jumps, stumbles, drags its wing, a real avian DiCaprio in his best role. When the predator moves away from the nest, the bird suddenly recovers flies up and returns to the eggs. A brilliant acting technique. Just imagine the predator's disappointment. Hey, weren't you dying a minute ago? Spiders Sabrinus Recumbergi from Morocco took a different path. They roll. Using their own legs as wheels, they move in any direction, up, down, and even against the wind. A true ninja spider. 
With a speed of 2 meters per second, it moves twice as fast as when running normally. It's as if a human suddenly started somersaulting faster than running. Seeing a solifugid or another predator, I would also prefer to quickly roll away. The discovery of this species influenced biomimetics, the science of imitating natural solutions in technology. Scientists created a robot that moves in the same way for exploring the seabed or even Mars. That means the spider is so cool that people copied its movement technique for exploring other planets. Nemertines are marine worms, distant relatives of venom from comics. When in danger, they shoot something resembling living white slime. It writhes, moves, as if possessing its own mind. Not a sight for the faint of heart. In fact, this is a proboscis, which is usually used for hunting. By turning it inside out, the worm captures prey, and the slime covering the proboscis paralyzes the victim. It's like shooting your own stomach to catch food. Unusual but effective. And here's the boxer crab, Libya. It holds anemones, special corals that it waves when meeting enemies or prey. This is mutualism, a form of cohabitation beneficial to both parties. The crab gets a weapon, and the coral gets transportation and part of the prey. Without anemones, the crab is doomed to starve. Its own claws are too delicate. Anemones are poisonous, providing additional protection. In extreme cases, the crab uses coral fragments, an improvised brass knuckle, ocean street wisdom. Never fight with bare claws. Electric eels generate discharges with voltage up to 600 volts. That's almost three times more than in your electrical outlet. Their electric organs occupy two-thirds of their body mass, a real mobile power plant. By the way, the electric eel isn't related to common eels, but rather an electrified catfish. Multiple discharges can cause respiratory or cardiac failure, causing a person to drown even in shallow water. So if you see a creature in the water that looks like a live high-voltage cable, stay away. Finally, Japanese bees defend against hornets in an incredible way. When a hornet scout enters the hive, 500 bees surround it with a dense living ball. There's no way out. Then they intensively work their wings, raising the temperature to 47 degrees. The hornet, able to withstand a maximum of 46 degrees, literally bakes inside. It's like getting into a living oven. The bees themselves can withstand temperatures up to 50 degrees and remain unharmed. Collective intelligence defeats brute force. Nature is inexhaustible in inventing ways to survive from the chemical weapons of ants to the thermal weapons of bees, from bloody shots of lizards to electric shocks of eels. Each species has found its unique path in the endless struggle for existence. And who knows what other amazing defense mechanisms are hidden in the depths of wildlife waiting to be discovered. The world of wildlife is a real arena of martial arts where each fighter has mastered their unique technique. See you soon.